In this video, we will work with editing content and apps on your school website. You are not building your site from scratch, and you have learned the basics about site structure and apps. Let's take a look at how to go about editing what you already have on your website. We built the websites keeping in mind that most content is static and will not need updating more than one time per year. Some pages that are updated annually are your About Our School page, which contains information like school hours and the message from the principal, and other pages like Title I and Faculty and Staff. The information on these pages doesn't need to be edited daily or weekly. We consider this content to be static. The content areas that require more attention would be your front page items, like your announcements, your calendar, your news, and your newsletters. What they all have in common is they are apps on a page. Starting with our faculty and staff page, let's take a look at how the editing process works. Log in to your Subsite Workspace. Click the Faculty and Staff channel. Click to open the section. Click again to open the page. The Faculty and Staff page consists of a content app at the top and a series of mini-base apps ordered by grade level teams or whatever the school decided to use. The content app at the top contains the school name, address, and leadership contact information. Hover over the app and click the pencil icon to edit. The text and graphic are held in place using tables. Edit the text but do not remove the tables. You should never use a fully qualified email address. But instead, you can use a mail to formatted link. That, along with a disclaimer, district email addresses are followed by at gm.sbac.edu, keeps us safe from cyber attacks. When you're finished, save your changes and close the app. Below the content app are several mini base apps. The mini base app icon looks like a stack of pancakes. To edit a mini base, hover over the app and click the pencil icon. The app will open with a list of faculty members. You have the option to edit or delete an existing member. Click New Record to add a new person. If you have someone joining and leaving in the same category, it's easiest to edit the old record with the new person's information. These lists are sorted by email address, so it will dynamically update the order of the records. If the school needs a mini base added, you may need to contact the district web admin for assistance on formatting. Click the big X to close the app. Click the big X to close the page. Next, let's take a look at your home page. Click the home icon or your school name to get to the subsite workspace. You should see your home page under the current pages area. Open the home page. Hover over the Announcements app in Region A. 
and click the pencil icon. Here you can edit or delete an announcement. Existing announcements can be active or inactive. Click New to add a new announcement. The title is not displayed on the website. This entry is for your records only. The title that users see is in the next section. To format the title for this app, the first line in the announcement should be made using an H3 or H4 tag. This will set the size of the text to 14 or 18 points. The next line where the rest of your text will be located should be in a paragraph format. When you press the enter key it automatically changes to paragraph format. You can add a graphic to draw attention to the entry. Use graphics that are meaningful and render well in a small space. You can set a start and end date on the item. Click Save or Cancel now depending on whether you are keeping your edits today. Click I'm Done to close the App Editor. Now we will move on to the Headlines and Features app. Hover over the Headlines and Features app in Region D and click the pencil icon. Open an existing entry and we will go over the settings. This title does display on the website, so be sure to check for spelling and title case. The graphic used must be 402 by 332 pixels. Graphics smaller or larger will not render properly on your site. Either image alt text or the decorative checkbox have to be entered. This is a very flexible app, meaning that you can either use a link, a simple link to another website, you can attach a file, like a flyer, or you can enter a fully formatted article. This is the only app in the suite that has these three different options. Use these options appropriately. If you are posting a document, use that document option. The article option should only be used if you are writing the article in the app. Click the Cancel to close this item if you are not saving your edits today. Click I'm Done to close the app. If you move this app or the Calendar app out of Region D, they will not display properly. The only regions you should be moving apps around in are Regions E through H. There is a School Links app in Region B that is managed by the district. It is required to be posted in Region B and cannot be modified. A school can add a second School Links above app above or below the district School Links app. This school has added this extra 
School Links app, and this is an example of what it could look like if you needed some extra information added there. The only app that you can use in that region is the Shortcuts app. A word about your channel bar. Each channel has a landing page. The landing pages were designed to guide a user that clicks on the channel rather than making a selection from the drop-down. The channel landing pages are ordered as the first section on the list. As you can see here, the FAQs page is at the top of this list in this channel. It is important that this landing page be kept at the top of the list. The landing pages are About Our School, Curriculum Overview, the community page has a home page called Calling All Community Members, Information uses FAQs, and Student Services uses Student Services Overview. The basic editing of your pages will be the same across all channels. You will always open the page in the editor and then edit the app on the page. But if you get stuck, there is a link to guided help called How Do I? It will offer suggested guidance relevant to the level of the site you are on. It is also searchable. Of course, if you need assistance at any time, you can contact the District Web Administrator for just-in-time support.